Okay, so we start off in your past situation and we have the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands is your fiery energy, it's passion, it's drive, it's uh, action, um, it's communication, deals with business. And here we see you defending yourself um, vigorously, passionately, but being on higher ground, being able to d have the opinions of others in front of you, um, but in a very defensive mode. So you've had to defend yourself or you are defending yourself from the opinions of others, maybe in a business situation, a romantic situation, uh, maybe in communication. But this is in the past, um, Leah, that you are dealing with something that you are defending but being uh, on top of it, being able to uh, be on top of it, almost drawing the line in the sand here with uh, a lot of passion and saying, that's it, I've had enough. Um, drawing the line in the sand and saying, so far, no further. And yeah, your Leo's fixed and you can quite easily do that as well. And good for you. You know, I mean, um, you, a person needs to stand up for yourself. And yeah, we see you doing that as well. In the current situation, there's an opportunity for you here for something brand new. It's a gift from God, um, an Ace of Pentacles. This is uh, something that has value and is solid, maybe an, a career opportunity, a promotion, uh, money coming through to you, a property, uh, or even a relationship that is value, that is, uh, it is tangible. We see the pentacles, the coins. Um, but there is an opportunity for you. Here's the gate. Go in and grab it. Opportunities present themselves and it is an opportunity. You know, there's a cloud. It's poof. It's there. It's like a genie in a bottle. Grab onto it. It is presenting itself for you. And you do see this as well. You do see this. Because what is hidden, whether it's within you or around you or you're not aware of it, is you're looking out towards that. You know there's something better out there for you in the world. Maybe uh, it is a job offer in somewhere else in the world. Maybe this is movement because we do have movement and recognition here. Um, if it is a job offer presenting itself to you, um, you've, you've got your hand on it. The other... You've got something pretty stable here, a career, a project, something that's pretty stable. It's fastened to a wall. The boundary is there, but you want to step over this wall. You're at a crossroads here. You want to look out. You want to travel. You want to move on. It is travel as well to distant lands, Leo, where um, you're possibly looking at a new business venture or opportunity or career or relationship that is out there and you're needing to make the choice with these two um, contradictory, con two or something that is contradictory to each other, and but you you've got to have one. You've got to make a choice. You've got your hand on it, and you're looking out. You've turned your back to what you had because there's something new. This is on this boundary. You have to step over it and go for it. Um, I do believe in your subconscious. You're fully aware of this, and uh, the. It's presenting itself to you. Yeah, we have uh, the attitudes around you is victory. And even within you, victory, moving forward, being recognized, head and shoulders above others. Yeah, we have these other people recognizing what you've defended, what you've stood up for, uh, seeing that in you and having the victory. Um, if it was an exam, um, maybe uh, you've received your, your accolades, your awards, the recognition and forward movement here, yeah. if it's a relationship, if it's business, if it was a CV you put out there, whatever it is, is victory and that's the attitude around you that you have this victory and forward movement and balance, it's a six to go with what you want. So what you defended, you have the victory in. He has the opportunity presenting itself and the best action to take is to go for it. Here we have the fool. The best action to take, ground zero, jump, go for it, take a risk, let go of things that don't serve you. Just go with carefree abandon because there's this new opportunity presenting itself. So it's saying take the risk, go for it. You have loyal support. The universe has your back. Um, yes, it might seem daunting 
um, because it, it's something so new. It's like you're jumping over into something new. It's ground zero. You might never have done this. It's a journey. But with this major con, it's saying go for it. Go for it. Take the chance. Go for the risk. Yes, don't be foolish, obviously. Um, but go for it. But I think you do. The challenge is another six year is to move on, to travel, to do this thing. It, uh, oh, if it is something in a foreign land, it's saying move away from troubled waters. Take your family. Take your lessons you've learned. Move on. Turn your back on things that don't serve you anymore. Um, where you've had to defend yourself, fight for what you want. Um, and it's like the light at the end of the tunnel with the six of swords. And swords is always about conflict. Um, so there has been heavy conflict here for you. Uh, we have the six of uh, wands here where you defended yourself at the seventh one in your hand. Yeah, you have the six conflicts as well in your boat. Maybe something that came through with, and yeah, you have another six as well. You have this victory of just moving forward here, Leo, and moving and traveling uh, to a distant land, making the choice. Uh, because swords is also choices that are from the mind, uh, clear cut, um, using your mind and your analytics, your uh, ability to move forward with a lot of passion here, yeah, the choice. And yeah, we, the outcome is getting the information or relaying the information. Page of Wands is normally, um, it is in the outcome, receiving information, a message from um, somebody that could be a fire sign, uh, like yourself, Leo, Sage or Aries, or even uh, information about business projects, a um, career, it's communication that comes in maybe even a relationship because it's fire energy it's creative energy that comes through to you even though you might feel like you're in a desert this this message that comes through to you brings creative energy and expansion if it the outcome is maybe even information from a child it, it could be a younger um, person that gives this to you um, i'm just going to clarify that and see where this is going for you but it really a uh, lovely reading for you, Leah, after having a pretty tough time. Yes, yeah, some movement, moving on, taking your lessons, taking your family, protecting what you believe in, uh, being recognized for that, uh, and just going for something brand new. There's an opportunity presenting itself that has value. Okay, so... Um, the obstacle or the challenge of moving forward for Leo, it seems to be maybe uh, something that comes through you, a justice, something it could have been a legal situation, and now you finally get the justice. The obstacle is it for it to come through, but with justice, it does promise this to come through as well for you. Um, something that is fair after something that has been quite brutal for you. Uh, this is emotional balance as well as... Uh, unbiased uh, opinions and uh, maybe getting justice you know the obstacle to moving on to calmer waters might even be a, a liberal person that you're dealing with uh, might be the obstacle um, bringing this as an obstacle to you as well but if it is a legal system there's an un you want balance and this portrays to it you haven't yet received it but it will be coming through to you we see these daisies yeah and um you know it's still behind the veil but justice will prevail as well um the outcome for um yes the victory in this it just is the challenge still to get this fairness to come through to you and moving away to calmer waters and justice promises that for you. At the moment it is a challenge but you are moving forward relentlessly, regardlessly, strongly. Um, so the outcome might even be you giving this information to the Libra or to the uh, situation moving forward. Maybe finding balance and harmony. 
Page of Wands. There we go. King of Swords. So there you are. Maybe uh, dealing with an air sign as well. Maybe making uh, a King of Swords would be air, would be Aquarius, uh, Libra again comes into it or a Gemini, but yeah, it's clear-cut decisions and choices that affect your outside world. We see the Falcons here, this is clarity. Um, this king brings changes that cut out the emotional nonsense and actually just brings truth uh, that serves you on the outside from the solar plexus. Uh, ready. He's got both his feet on the ground. He's ready to defend what he believes in and he brings clarity, truth, choice. He's defending you. Um, the outcome could be that the the situation, if it is a legal situation, yeah, is your defender bringing clarity and truth that is very pleasant for you. Finally, something uh, comes through for you. Uh, this is information with clarity, passion, new beginnings. Uh, fairness, um, maybe a contract, uh, if it is work, uh, maybe even um, signing a business contract that comes through for you and there's the choices that need to be made. Uh, there is choices, yeah, absolutely, uh, with, to do with your mind. There's conflict, yeah, because swords is conflict and um, looking at it very passionately, maybe somebody in another part of the world <coughs> and bringing that uh, through for you in a very passionate way. Sorry, um, I have a tickle here. I just want to pause this. Okay. Um, yeah, we have uh, using or making choices, uh, not just from your heart and passion and looking forward for something new, creative energy. Yeah, we're saying use your analytical mind. You are pretty sharp. Go within protect your heart because and you have to make this choice it's one or the other yes yeah, very calm water so still your heart that big heart of yours still it be calm like the lavender be pure to yourself protect your heart um she's not in denial yeah um you can't see your way out of it so you have to think your way out of it yeah using your intuition it's two very contradictory choices or opinions or conflict that there is but you have to make the choice using balance cutting it out and clarity so um what is the fool what is the best uh action to take here what is uh clarity on this with this new beginning and opportunity again seven of wands defending yourself Defending yourself for this new beginning. This seems to be something that you are battling. Um, but you have the victory. You have the victory uh, in this. What is hidden here for um, Leah? November. Okay, there we go. It's a choice that you need to make, possibly even with a lover. Maybe there is a, a hidden uh, relationship here. Uh, but the six, um, the lover's card in the major con is about a choice you need to make from the heart as well. Uh, you need clarity. It's uh, maybe something that's happening behind the scenes. Uh, it might be a kindred spirit. This is uh, behind the scenes and you have to make a decision about it. Um, it's about passion um, and making the choice that is right for you because uh, the lover's card is about making a choice that is um, using your discernment using your discernment okay so the new opportunity that presents uh, to um, Leah this could also be a partnership because it's two people presenting it's significant okay so the new opportunity uh, presented to Leah and there we have okay so this is a secret uh, relationship um, 
it is a secret relationship possibly um, because the moon is about finding uh, clarity uh, you have things are not quite um, the way they seem facing your fears making doing something behind the scenes maybe in secret um, it's also the card of Pisces um, I think we have a Pisces moon coming up soon or we've just had one card number 18 which is a nine and that is like standing alone doing it yourself but you need to discern because there are secrets and things are not the way they seem possibly as well so Leah let me know how that resonates for you um, and in what area of your life it does resonate because it is a general reading so it can mean any or all of these things uh, whether it is a legal situation a business a promotion um, dealing with somebody from a foreign land a relationship that's happening in secret in quiet behind the scenes defending yourself in that um, that one did flip I'm going to take it and yes love and healing Rose it did come out in reverse I'm going to read that um, and let's see how that resonates in this reading so I'm just going to pause and find it to save time in the book okay so here we go um, and the lovers card I must give you the zodiac there is also it could be a Gemini as well and Gemini is air so we do have air in this as well so um, reversed the rose is wounds of the past can prevent us from expressing and feeling love to its fullest you are limiting how you express love and how you receive it not everyone will treat your heart the way others have treated it in the past hurting others before they get a chance to hurt you will do nothing but create greater misery in your life forgive hurts of the past Forgive yourself for hurting others in the past. Send them love and know that you have grown past that and would never do such again. In this way, you heal and your heart opens to love more deeply. So there's the message, uh, Oracle message from Spirit for you, Leo. Does seem to be a relationship maybe even um, from the past and, and changes and maybe it's come to an end with the uh, legal system uh, or justice there as well 